there was a lot of time I spent in terms of thinking about what I want to do for society. What, what can I do? What can I contribute back? And to me, uh, one big looming uh, problem we face today is the aging population. And one of the big problem or cluster of problems with aging is cancer. During that time, artificial intelligence was used mostly for resource planning. And the early ideas of how we could apply that to medicine or medical application was completely untested. And the more I looked at it, into it, the, the more intrigued I became, uh, the more interested I became in medical and healthcare and how we could actually simplify or make the diagnostic more accurate. Eventually, I discovered my real love was you know, in, in medicine uh, or, or rather in, in, uh, in healthcare. So-called life focuses a lot on um, stem cell banking, which is the ability to isolate and store um, hem hemopoietic stem cells. These are then used uh, to uh, help patients who are going through chemo uh, to reconstitute their bone marrow so that they can have the immune system back. So the whole idea of being able to use an in vitro model and an in vivo model gives scientists and gives clinicians a much clearer understanding as to how drugs work for each patient. And this is really going into the era of personalised medicine or personalised oncology. I think entrepreneurship in particular uh, technology and entrepreneurship or bio-entrepreneurship is something I felt could happen more often in Singapore. Because when I started, uh, I, I was all alone. There, 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 weren't, there wasn't anyone to really talk to, there wasn't anyone to kind of refer to. The real recognition goes back to the individuals of these companies that today I would think they are probably more successful than I've been. But for me as a Singaporean, I'm very proud of that. <laughs> that we could actually be one of the biotech hubs uh, in the world, not just in Asia.